Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn formulation of load flow equations using Weibus matrix. As we already discussed the importance of load flow studies in the previous video. So as a part of the load flow study, we are following four basic steps. The first step to draw the single line diagram. Second one to form the inference diagram and third one formation of load flow equations or network equations and the fourth step is solution of those equations. Now we are talking about the third step that is the formation of load flow equations. So here in this video we have considered a nodal admittance model of n bus network. So this is the corresponding equation. In this equation i1, i2 and so on in these are all the impressed currents at their respective buses of uh, the network having n buses. So this is the corresponding y bus. So v1, v2 and so on vn these are all the impressed voltages of our network. Okay so now let us consider the kth element. If you want to write the kth element's current equation then automatically so this row into this column will give you ik. So if we write so then the equation will seems to be somewhat like this. So now what we are doing we are separating the kth element and rest of the other elements okay so if we do so the equation will seems to be like this so we picked out this uh, kth element so whatever the rest of the portion may be it can be written like this so see the pattern yk1 yk2 and so on yk so can be written as yki so i can be 1 2 and so on n but is not equal to k because we already separated this term clear so that's why here we have written i equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n okay so what is the other part here v1 v2 and so on vn is there no so we can write vi so what we can write i now i can be any number but is not equal to k but what is k what is k k can be 1 to n any number okay so here k is any number 1 2 and so on n okay so let us write the relation for vk okay so if we write so vk will be so keep this part and uh, shift this part to the other side and divide that with ykk so there you get the relation for vk so it will be ik by ykk minus 1 by ykk sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n y k i v i where i can be 1 to n number but is not equal to k so, or it as equation 1 we know what is the complex power equation so complex power will be taken as p k minus j q k is equal to vk conjugate into ik okay so how you got this conjugate and all let us see uh, like in a short note okay so s is equal to what vi so magnitude wise clear so now if i want to uh, play some vector then it will be some v at an angle theta 1 magnitude of i at an angle theta 2 so what should be this s this is a product of V and I and this is the angle between voltage and current, right? Right. So, let us have the phasor diagram. So, this is our reference. If V is making some theta 1, let us assume, let us assume that I1 current is lagging. Okay. So, this is the current I. What is the angle here? Theta 2, right? Now, what is the phase angle phi? This is the angle between V and I, but to V and I. Now, what is the phase angle difference between these two? Obviously, theta 1 minus theta 2, right? Let us the phase angle difference be phi. This is theta 1 minus theta 2, right? So, you take this relation. So, S is equal to what? Mod V into mod I according to our mathematics. So, if we are multiplying two uh, polar quantities angle should be added so you are getting theta 1 plus theta 2 is that correct no so there should be some difference so we need to take the conjugate 
either for i or i sorry v so in that manner we can find the relation like this so if it is p plus j q k it will be v i v k into i k conjugate so if we take p k minus j q k it will be v k conjugate into i k so just try this one you can find the answer now from this relation i would like to uh, relate i k okay so what is i k from this equation this is p k minus j q k by v k conjugate call it as equation 2 so i hope uh, so far you have understood now what you do you substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 okay so now what happens with v k v k is equal to instead of i k what we can write we can write this way. clear so if we do so the final equation for v k will be 1 by y k k of p k minus j q k by v k conjugate minus sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n y k i okay so these are called as load flow equations so this is how we form the load flow equations with these equations we can calculate the voltage we can calculate the power flows in the system so based on these equations we are going to solve uh, the power system problem using different methods the methods can be uh, gauss seidel newton raphson fast decoupled any of the methods but the equations that is load flow equations will be the same so I hope you understand. Thank you so much.